Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it again. It's your boy, Chef Buka, in the building, doing what we do best. So, you know, the other day, we decided that we're going to make some barbecue and we're going to take it to the Mediterranean side. Right, you know what I'm saying? Our cuisine and our other stuff that we do is Mediterranean influenced in a lot of ways that we don't even know about it. So, I get a request that while I make barbecue ganoush, I should make the first best thing that people always eat in that side of the world. Hummus. So, I'm say, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's make it happen. So, I decided that, alright, I'm going to make some hummus. Check my ingredients out. So, first we got chickpeas, right? Garbanzo bean. This one, I get it dry and I boiled it half an hour to an hour in water, just water, a little bit of salt to finish. And, you know, get it soft. You want to get it soft because you're going to puree it, okay? All right. And I got a can as well to show you guys. You could get the can one too. Let me open it up. You see how the can one look a little bit different from that one. Because this one was a dry one. We cook it. Make it, you know, like that. So that's the can one right there. And what I normally do with the can one or with this one when I boil it, I save a little bit of the water. Because the water inside of it kind of keep it from, you know, oxidizing and get it, give it like a, a little bit of taste and stay longer. Because this got some um, citric acid in there to keep this in the can a little bit longer, okay? So we take a little bit of it, put it in here. All right? We got extra virgin olive oil. We got coriander, you know what I'm saying? It's a seed, you know what I'm saying? We got cumin, the seed as well. We got some roasted garlic left over from the garlic we did for the barbe ganoush. And we got a little bit of um, paprika right here. The paprika is not going into it, but it's gonna be just for garnish. And you know what I'm saying, you know, in the Mediterranean cuisine, they eat a lot of parsley, so we got some parsley. And last but not least, tiny as well you know what i'm saying a lot of people put some yogurt into theirs but it's like you know what we try to do vegan and all of these little dishes that we're doing and you can't forget the salt okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to get some stuff put together when we come back we're going to get into what we're going to do and we're going to be the straight to all right so all right back into it now so can't forget about the lemon because you need lemon in there, a little bit of acid in there, you know what I'm saying? To make it go well. So what I'm going to start do now, I'm going to put this in here. Yeah, you can see the difference between them, you know? Totally different. And the can one can have like a little bit of foam inside of it. So I'm going to pour half of this in here. Because first, what you want to do is to make sure you get the right amount. Stuff to stuff, alright? Ratio wise, so... Let's do it. Garlic is roasted, so when you roast the garlic, it's less like garlic. So I'm going to put six cloves garlic, a little bit of the oil that it roasted in, in here as well. I'm going to let that drain out right there so we get all the flavor from that out of it. Kosher salt, teaspoon. You can add more if you need to add more as well. You can taste it on the go as well. All right. Coriander, one teaspoon as well. And cumin is very strong, so you want to put half a teaspoon cumin. It's very strong and it's a very distinct flavor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to show you the seed because I buy the whole thing with the seed and um, I just toast them and then blend them and get them to be smooth like this, okay? We're going to show you, maybe in another video or something, but we're going to let you see the seed, what it looks like. Olive oil for sure. Say half a cup olive oil. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. Tahini. Two 
to a tablespoon, okay? Then lime juice. Very important. You don't want to lose that in there. No? And this is easy to make. You know what I'm saying? It's similar like to the barbe ganoush, you know, for crudite. Say you want to make a vegetarian sandwich, you know what I'm saying? And you don't got no spread. This would be a nice spread for like a grilled vegetarian sandwich, like some grilled eggplants, zucchini squash, you know what I'm saying? Some roasted peppers, you know what I'm saying, or some roasted asparagus, cut them thin. After you roast them and then you put them in the sandwich. You know, you can make a nice sandwich with it. Add some olive oil, fresh olive oil to it. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of arugula. Make it nice. Maybe we're gonna do that one of these days. We're gonna make a vegan sandwich and instead of use like cheese and any other kind of mayonnaise or what kind of spread, we're gonna go into it and we're gonna use some hummus and some barba ganoush for the spread, okay? All right, so that, that, that we got everything in here already. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to buzz a little. I just want to buzz it until it's smooth. You know what I'm saying? And if you need to add more water, you can add a little bit more water to it, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more salt. You can taste as it go, because you want it to be like smooth, you don't need to be silky smooth. But if you want your silky smooth, you can go ahead and make it silky smooth, alright? Right, we're going to buzz and when we come back, we're going to look into it and see what it looks like, okay? Alright, so, blend, look nice, smooth. See that? That's what you're looking for. Nice, smooth, what I said, not too thick, perfect, like a spread, that's what you're looking for. I taste it and it tastes good. I add a little bit more lemon juice to it, you know, olive oil and everything in there look nice. So what we're going to do now, we're going to plate it, I'm going to put it in here, and then we're going to garnish up, show you guys what it look like. You know, we normally serve it. And normally, this is a little bit kind of say, uh, room temp. When you put it in the fridge, it come a little bit more thicker. It just come back together fully after it goes in the fridge. So a little bit of olive oil in there as always on top. A bit of that for garnish, and this is smoked paprika, kind of give you like a smoke flavor to it, you know. Yeah, that's it. And this is real easy, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't take a lot to make it if you have the right ingredients and the right flavor. You can add whatever you want to add in it. Sometime, you know, I had some, some avocado in there and made like a hummus avocado kind of flavor like you know look a little bit greener than that you know so more like pour some cilantro and fold some cilantro into it the flavor that you want to extract from it or what you want from it you can add your herbs to it to get that kind of flavor don't forget hit the notification bell tell a friend to tell a friend you know um check the channel out you know leave a comment let me know what you guys think you know so far we're doing real good you know from where we started to where we are right now I appreciate you guys, you know, sticking with us. We got a lot of more good things coming and more creative stuff coming, but we're trying to build the channel up into the reach or level where we can start dropping some stuff like, you know, making some parties, you know, making some gizada, you know what I'm saying? Making some stuff that, you know, we like and that you, I know you guys gonna enjoy watching as well. All right? That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Peace.